Washington State Congresswoman Kathy McMorris Rogers is the highest ranking Republican woman in the House, and she joins us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. So, in the lack of negotiations, I have to ask this question. Do Republicans, would they rather have the sequester than any deal that raises taxes? We, we're very concerned about the impact of the sequester. This was President Obama's idea back when we were negotiating, raising the debt ceiling, these across the board cuts that disproportionately impact the military. The Republicans almost uh, 300 days ago put forward our plan to replace these cuts with smarter reforms, smarter cuts. There's a better way to do it. And what we need is for the president to get off the campaign trail, quit talking about raising taxes, and actually deliver on his promise to cut spending. We're but talking $85 billion. Congresswoman, you say the president's got to stop campaigning and start negotiating. But if you look at the latest polls, it appears it's working. The public is going to blame your party, Republicans. Well, these cuts were the president's idea, and we are very concerned about the impact that they're going to have. We're hopeful uh, that as we move forward that the president will come back to Washington, D.C., sit down with the Senate Democrats, urge them to come up with the plan to show that there is a better way to implement these cuts. $85 billion out of a $4.2 trillion budget. It can be done, but there's a smarter, better way to do it. And what's the smarter, better way other than raising revenue? Uh, well, the president got revenue increases on January 1st, over $600 billion. The Republicans have put forward two bills. We've passed legislation twice to show a, a smarter Congress way let me to just, go about Let me ask one yes. specific question. Do you believe that the president, when he points out the impact of the sequester, is either using scare tactics or misleading the American public? Well, we'll, we'll see. we won't know that answer until March 1st, um, but this was the president's idea. But, but you idea know what the president is saying. I mean, you're, you're aware of what he's saying. He's going across the country to say it, and it seems to be working, as Nora pointed out, because the president uh, looks like the American people in polls support the idea that if the sequester happens, the Republicans will be blamed. Well, um, America also knows that we have a spending problem, that Washington, D.C. has a spending problem. Every year we're spending more than we bring in, and it never seems to be the right time to cut the spending. President Obama made a promise as a part of this big compromise to raise the debt ceiling. He made a promise that we were going to cut spending. But, and it seems like it's never, and we never get to the place of cutting the spending. But some people point out that it looks like the Republicans have changed their position, that in the beginning they talked about how bad the sequester would be, but now they're saying, okay, if we don't get revenue, oh, it's okay to have the sequester. That's a better and oh. new policy. No, we are, we're very concerned about the sequester. Uh, there's, there's a better way to find the, the spending cuts, the reforms. Just uh, We've spent $2.2 .2 billion on a free cell phone program just in 2013. President Obama has spent over $50 million promoting Obamacare, hiring a public relations firm to promote Obamacare. There is a smarter way to find the savings, reduce spending in the federal government than the president sequester, these across-the-board cuts. And what we need... We We've known from nearly two years this day was coming. We need the president, we need the Senate Democrats to sit down and put together that plan to move forward. The Republicans have put forward our plan twice. All right, Congresswoman Kathy McMorris-Rogers, good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. And Scott